Developing story mayhem erupting at Dayland Mall. Shoppers were scrambling for safety after reports of a shooting, but police are saying they were actually responding to a call of a theft and the thieves took off running and that sparked a stampede. Local Times' Trent Kelly joins us live from outside the shopping center with more. Trent. Alex, Andrew, definitely some very chaotic moments out here yesterday as those shoppers were sent scrambling, many running outside, having no clue what was going on. Police did receive some calls from panicked shoppers saying a potential shooting was taking place. In the end, though, officers say they were here to investigate a shoplifting case and that no shots were ever fired. Shoppers scrambling for safety inside the Dadelin Mall on Saturday. People panicking and running for the exit, fearing the worst. I just see that people run into me, so I went that way and that's it. I heard uh, many sounds from the foot guard, but I don't know right now what happened. Despite fears of a shooting, officers say they were there to investigate a shoplifting call, not shots fired. When the alleged thieves started to run, chaos and confusion ensued. Cell phone video later shows two women and one man being let out in handcuffs. So I just saw a lot of people running towards the Macy's and I just went and closed the doors. This woman says she hid in a fitting room along with other shoppers for nearly 30 minutes. I think I was pretty calm. I've been in these situations before, so my only concern was just my customers in the back of the store because I had about 10 customers in there. Dozens of officers responding with the mall eventually reopening. While no one was injured, it was still a scary moment for those inside fearing a shooter could have been on the loose. I'm in shock. Yeah, I'm working. So again, despite that chaos yesterday, no one out here was hurt. Still no word this morning as to what official charges those alleged shoplifters will be facing. The mall itself expected to reopen today. Business as usual here when it reopens in a little less than an hour. For now, that is the latest live from Kendall this morning. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.